Yo, you guys, what is going on? It's Blazing Air Cakes here. And today, in this video, I've got, got some great stuff for you today. This is my third easy unboxing in January now. To me, that's like, <laughs> that's crazy. All right, but I'm trying to, you know, this one I was trying to save for a little bit. I was going to make a video on it. You know, I was just like, you know, I got to make this video, right? It's, but this one's a little bit difficult, and I'll explain later as we get onto it. But let me just show you what I grabbed. So you guys know, I answered this a few months ago in one of my Q&A videos. You know, what's your grill? I was like, easy two plats. Boy, I got him finally, right? Man, uh, this is my favorite shoe, honestly. This is my favorite Yeezy ever to come out. Like the, just the contrast, the colors, low, everything. The back dragon scales, Velcro size perfect. Like in the comments below right now, if you're on YouTube, mobile, start commenting this comment. What do you like better, Yeezy ones or Yeezy twos? Personally, I like the twos better, and I am trying to sell these. If you're a series buyer. Hit up my email, blazingyourkicks at gmail.com. But yeah, man, so, alright guys, to kick it off before we even get started with the shoe, box is for a pair of Yeezy 2s, uh, the Platinums, but they're a size 10, and the shoes are a size 9. So I guess that's the only thing that's not original with the shoe. But other than that, let's just show you the rest of it. So, when you first get them, obviously, if you do get a pair, you want to look for this dust bag. This is the Nike Sportswear box Yeezy bag. This is probably the coolest dust bag I've ever seen because it does have that Kanye eagle on it. Next up, that also kind of did and kind of didn't came with the shoe, are these Yeezy aglets right here. Three of them are originally from the shoe, which is three gunmetal, one gold, or something like that. And then the rest are from Lace Lab. So if I'm going to wear them at a convention, I'd probably the replacement aglets because I don't want to lose the originals. It also came with this Rue Villa bag. I don't know why it did. And it came with the original paper as well for the box. And now let's get in the actual shoes. All right, guys, so here are the shoes. Uh, as you can tell, right off the bat, we've got that nice dragon scale along the side. We have this 3M mesh right here. We also have this Velcro strap. You guys unaware of Velcro? As we start to move up towards the tongue, you've got that, once again, that Yeezy Eagle emblem, whatever the hell that is. You've got the tips that are for the aglets. You also have a nice red liner, the size tag on the inside right there. And then right here, you've got the actual size tag. A uh, problem with Yeezy 2s is the size tags always fall out. So make sure you look for a pair with that in it to make sure that's the official size, unless it comes with the OG box. Also, on the inside of these, it feels like you're walking on a cloud. This insole is super cushiony, and that's why the shoe won me over because of when I first tried it on, how comfortable it was. You've got that Nike AirTech Challenge 2 vibe on the midsole. And the midsole, it doesn't seem like it cracks, but it definitely wears away. So make sure you're looking for a pair that is not worn away. And once again, Again, you've got that nice whatever dragon type material maybe I'm not sure what to call these the bump scales on the back and of course you've got that outsole that glows in the dark so let me just give you a little glow test as you can tell it's really hard to show the glow in the um, non-natural lighting or if you're not in person but this is the glow they've they glow I guess another flaw that these shoes have when you're looking to buy them is the Nike swoosh being kind of faded into the dragon scale depending on how you look at it like right now it's not there but then of course when it gets in the shadows you can tell it's there that's a big downfall to the sneaker in my opinion. It varies on the pairs, but honestly, I just like the shoe a lot, so I'm not too worried about that. However, the reason why I'm considering to return these to the seller is because of this rip right here. Shout out to my boy, Cement Cream Man. He let me try on his mags. He uh, He's a great seller, everything like that. I gifted my payment, got the shoe. Took a week though, because the post office was closed for five days because of the snow storm we had. Yeah, it's total BS. That rip is just too much for me. That's too much of a heartbreaker. So it really sucked. We're either working out a full or a partial refund right now. I don't know what I want to do, man. Like you can't see them on foot, like compared, like side by side. If you, you can't tell. But if someone goes, oh, let me check these out, man, they'll see the rip. I mean, maybe I can go get it fixed or sewn up like that. I don't know. It's just, ah, it's difficult. But that was it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my grail unboxing. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. You guys have been murdering this like button lately. But for all of you that are watching to the end of this video right now, hit that like button. Show me you're still here to the end of this video. Let's see if we can get 1.4K likes. That's 1,400 of you guys clicking that like button. So if you could go do that right now, that'd be sweet. Drop a comment down below on if you like the easy ones or twos better. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Blazing your kicks. I'm out. Peace. This video is sponsored by CatBeast.com, where you guys can create and design your own custom snapbacks and hats. It's super simple. Just follow the link in the description and use the code BlazingDairy at checkout.